it's time to start season five with Kaiserslautern and it is the Super Cup. Hello there and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Kaiserslautern. It is our third season in the Bundesliga, our fifth season overall that is getting underway today. Not with league game, of course, it is the Super Cup. Now, I for totally, totally escaped my mind in the last episode, um, or the, the last episode with the match, because obviously we've had the season review as well, uh, the, the Pokal final, I forgot when we won that, that we were going to be in the Super Cup. So, yeah, what a lovely way to start the season. Um, it's away at Bayern. I don't know why they play it at the home of the champions, which is it's annoying. It, I would much rather, obviously, it be in Berlin, in the Olympiastadion. It should be on neutral ground. It's a, it's a cup, but it is what it is. Um, all these friendlies um, I didn't take charge of, except the Real Madrid one, and we got robbed. I'm not going to lie. We got. I think Real Madrid had two shots on target and scored. Um, we we took the lead and we played brilliantly and we did it with the um, with the formation we used in the Pokal final. That's the formation that's been used throughout the whole of pre-season, um, eight matches, and it, it's it's working pretty well. It has to be said. The only thing I'm I'm noticing is a little bit worrying, other than um, a hat trick against Krasnodar, we haven't had a striker score. Um, so that's a little bit worrying, and there's. Possibly, I mean, Ibrahim Macaulay scored against Chazena, but he was playing out on the wing. So, yeah, it, it's potentially a little bit worrying if the strikers aren't scoring with this formation. But we'll see how it goes from there. Um, we are going to have a transfer update as well before we get into it. Um, we've got a few players. Have we got any coming in at the minute? No. Oh, we've got Anatoly Chesnikov, who I've shown you before. But he joins in like three years' time. It's bizarre. He joins on New Year's Day 2027. Ridiculous. Uh, we have got a lot of transfers to catch up on. We've only spent nine and a half million so far. We've only brought in 1.4 million. Before we get into them, I, I just, I'm trying to keep a tight rein on the finances a little bit. We have got a huge squad. It's over 40 players all in total. But that does include a lot of under-19s and a lot of uh, the second team players as well. Um, so yeah, let's get in and show you uh, the players that have gone out first. Jordi Quintia, he's gone to uh, Cratoni for half a mil. A couple of youngsters have gone out. Elias Huth, um, we had offers in. Of, I managed to get offers of one and a half million for him. And then Hanover's Exxon Neunzig came in. They had apparently had a buyback clause of 650 grand. Despite the fact he came to us on a free transfer. Go figure. Um, he goes with our best wishes. He's been a fabulous servant to us all the way up the divisions. So I'm really happy for him to go out. Uh, David Herald's gone to Holstein Kiel on loan. And Lars Saba, he's gone to, well, he hasn't gone to Circle Bruges. We've loaned him back to Circle of Bruges as part of our deal to get him in, which he, you can see him here. We will, we will get to it. So a couple of players have come in from Bayern. Fieta Arp on a freebie. Um, He's one I've been scouting since we were in the third division. Uh, I've been wanting to get him in. Uh, he's, he's going to be a backup for Niall Ennis, but he, he just looks good if he gets in the positions, which, looking at his positioning rating, isn't going to be often, but he will put the ball in the back of the net. Um, he's going to be a good backup for us. Another freebie from Bayern, Sarpreet Singh. Absolutely delighted to get this guy in. Uh, he can play in a multitude of positions, as you can see, so he's going to be really, really useful for us. He's currently away with New Zealand. Uh, playing in, I think it's in the Olympics he's playing at the minute, but I'm happy to have him in. Another freebie this time, Xavier Amechi. He's English, Amaichi, Amechi. We'll call him Xavi, I think, and um, once he gets in the team and gets gets um, uh, established in a team. He's coming on a free as well. He's, he's English. I don't, where's he? He was at Arsenal, and then he went over to Hamburg for for 2.7 million, so not a, not a low uh, a low transfer fee. For a second division German club. Um, so, yeah, happy to get him in. Uh, coming in from Hertha, we have Omar Aldarete, Paraguayan centre-back, left-footed. So he can uh, he can challenge Leonardo Belerdi for that left-hand side role. And Leonardo Belerdi can actually play the half-back role very, very comfortably. So that's really interesting. So it's, it's going to probably be 
uh, Hernando Alderete, and then we'll have um, Belerdi in the halfback role, I think. Uh, Robert Janssen has come in from, uh, where was he from? Lech Poznan. Uh, he casts about 350 grand. So I'm quite happy to have him in as well. He just, he's got a lot of potential. He's 18 years of age. He looks really, really good. Hopefully he's going to take on that halfback role as well. Uh, another freebie from Salzburg, Peter Kessel. He's down in the under 19s at the minute, but he's 16 years of age. He, uh, he's just going to be a star, I think. I mean, he is only three and a half star potential. If we can get these physicals up a bit, I think we've got a player. Um, Felix Correa has come in from Juve for 1.9 million. Um, another one that I'm happy with as well. He's really quick, good dribbling. Again, can play a multitude of positions, but it will be primarily out on the left as the inside as the inverted winger. He's just got all the attributes to do that role. I think he's going to be really good for us. Um, in on loan from Monaco is Malamine Efekele. Uh, again, he's another one to play out on the wing as an inverted winger. Again, just looks like he's got all the attributes to do it. And then we've got Lars Sabat, who we brought in in total for five million. I think it was I think it was half up front and half over three years. I think was how I did it. Um, it just we needed someone who can play an advanced playmaker. He can play as a number ten if we need him to. Um, he's left footed. He just again just looks absolute class. We of course we're now coming up to the start of the fifth season, so we are now seeing all the brilliant new gens that are coming through. So it's making I'm just every time I'm looking at. Um, um, you know, when you get the scout reports, it's like 18 year old and it, all the attributes are just green and it's just wonder kids everywhere. It's just, it's ridiculous. I'm just desperately trying to, uh, to, to get players, players in. I could end up with a squad of a hundred. I really could. It's mental. Um, right. This is the team that played against, um, Real Madrid. Uh, we're just probably going to make one or two changes. So I will do that and I'll see you at the game. So what we've done, we, it wasn't that many changes we had to make really. We've put a couple of midfield changes and Ibrima Collis come in and also Felix Correa as the wingers as well. It was mainly on the bench where I had to make some changes because we, um, we had it all for the friendlies and we were only allowed seven subs. So it was just there that we had to do changes more than anything. Right, I'm, going to, um, I'm just going to do hands on hips. Let's go and cause an upset. Uh, right, it should be a great occasion. Fans are excited. Yep, absolutely. Don't want to rock the boat. Right, what are Bayern doing? They've got Donnarumma in goal now. Kimmich. David Alaba still at the club. Havertz up front. Oh, my God. We're going to get slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> Let's hope this formation works. I mean, I've only used it in two games so far. The Pokal final and that Real Madrid friendly. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with it. I really have. And it does give you the option... Just you can if if you're chasing a game, you can you can go back from the four three three back to our all out attack formation with just like one substitution and potentially not even any, depending on what midfielders are on the pitch at the time. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I mean I'm not it doesn't matter what formation I play in this match, I'm not expecting to win it. Um I just want a good account of ourselves as Lezzarini denies Foden. Big early chance, big early save. And it will be Phil Foden to take. There have been some big, big transfers this summer as well. Uh, Jadon Sancho went from Liverpool to Real Madrid for, for well over 100 mil. Um, I think Kai Havertz moved to Bayern this summer as well, which is mental. Um, so, yeah, there have been some really big transfers. Right. Oh, we've got a highlight here. I was going to drop an encouraging, but we might score here. You never know. Donna Rummer comes and claims the cross. What I have noticed is just having the, the full-back on attack and then an inside forward is there is a hell of a lot of space when you're getting forward. Um, I noticed before when playing full-backs and wingers, they were standing on each other's toes almost. Uh, so it does seem to be working a little bit as ball was played forward. Who's Andrade? I was, I was a bit confused there. Who is, it must, oh, is that Felix Correa maybe? Is that his full name? I'm going to have to change that. Asane's in. Oh, it's a great challenge. Super, super challenge. Don't need to see it again, though. Is it Felix Correa? Let, sorry, I just need to have a look at that because that's confusing me. It is Felix and uh, Felix Alexandre Andrade Sanchez Correa. I love Portuguese. Wow, he speaks some. He speaks some languages, doesn't he? I don't actually know if we've put him on a. We must have put him on a 
an intensive language course. I always do. We must have done. Um, right, we can drop an encouraging now. Again, I don't don't want to if we take the lead because it will only stress them out. But I'm guessing we're going to goal down here. Yep, Goretzka with the goal. Now we will drop an encouraging. Good attack down the left. Bit suspect defending, I think, on the cross. I mean, I don't really know what Lazzarini's doing there. Just kind of crouches as the ball comes across. I mean, strange. But we've dropped an encouraging. We're not really creating an awful lot. But then neither are they. I mean, it, it, it's, it's quite... It is quite a solid formation, he says, as we're about to go 2 0 down. <laughs> as, as Lorenzo Pellegrini heads in and Phil Foden has an assist. Um, we're not getting overrun. They're just really good. I mean, it's Bayern, isn't it? I mean, if we were going there with, with the 4 2 3 1, we'd be getting hammered. Why is the guy in the post not done anything there? Can I drop a little demand more in now, maybe? Oh, don't go 3-0 down. Now we're going to get hammered, aren't we? Colley hits it forward. Oh, Ennis. Couldn't get it under control. Kimmich. To Leon Bailey. They've, their squad is ridiculous. Kimmich. Pellegrini. Come on, just get the third in. Just get it out of the way. Oh, they've hit the bar. Danicic. Cleared. Oh, this it's not a great performance. Oh, here we go. Dantas with the corner. Oh, it's headed away. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a counter-attack goal. Kai Havertz, apparently we don't we we don't need to tackle. Uh you know, tackling's optional. That's fine. It's a debut goal, I think. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean we can't get close to him to be fair. And the centre back goes with the, the runner. And yeah, I mean, there's four players there. Don't worry about it. Not it's not important, lads. You don't you don't need to defend. Don't worry. It's fine. Ah oh, We are getting destroyed. But when we do get hold of the ball, it's quite it's quite nice passing, isn't it? Played down the channel, Ennis was blocked off. So presumably this is going to be 4-0. It would have been nice to lift this. It would have been nice. But it was always unlikely. Wow. This is embarrassing. This is a terrible, terrible performance. Lovely play from Sane again and a typical Leon Bailey finish cutting in and smashing it. I mean, Leon Bailey is one of my favourite players to watch at Leverkusen. He is superb. And I was saying this formation is quite solid, wasn't I? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. An absolute first half pasting. Right. Metcher's looking anxious, Danicic is looking anxious, Hill's looking anxious. Do I, I mean, we're not going to pull it back, are we? But I wonder if I went attacking, would it at least, I don't know, would it, would it give us a bit more of a, an attacking threat? I don't know. I'm going to bring on Victor. Um, and I'm going to take Danicic off because I'm not, I don't like, Damian Danicic at the minute, if I'm being honest, because he, he wants a new contract, but he wanted far too much money. So we've had a massive fallout. I think I'm probably going to end up selling him. We had an offer from Zenit, but it was it was, it was like a million, which is just like, yeah, that's not happening. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a tough pre-season in terms of, we've had a few fallouts with a few players. Um, but we're playing a lot better this second half. Look at this. We've had six shots, three on target. I mean, is it a case of Bayern have taken their, their foot off the gas a bit, maybe? Here's Victor, then. I'm going to bring uh, Fieta Arp on, I think. Just to give him a run out against his old club. 
as Niall Ennis keeps going. Oh, and Thiago Dantas couldn't sweep it in. Oh, do you know what? What if that had been Hikmet Chifchi or even Victor? You know, a left-footed player. Could have been, couldn't it? But we've, we're have we still going with another attack here. And that's a good header from, An from Andrade. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to rename him Felix or something. Another, I mean, that's that's two chances in one highlight. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. I mean, it, it's it's looking a little better now. I am going to bring Fieta Arp on, though, because I want him to have a game. I want him to have some game time. Um, he possibly will play, because we've had the... Uh, you probably saw it in the schedule. We have had uh, the the draw for the first round of the Pope Carl, and we're, we're playing uh, some... To some is it some Westfalen team somewhere near Dortmund we're playing I think um, looking at the name of the team but we won't be doing that one on camera we'll be coming back for a league game I think we've got a couple a couple of good league games coming up about a month in where we will probably come back uh, here's Dantas oh he's still going oh he's hit the post oh come on boys this is a f where was this performed look at it yes granted Bayern may well have taken their foot off the gas and just gone, you know, completely low tempo. But this is a much better showing, this second half. I'm, I'm reasonably pleased now. It's a shame that we were 4-0 down. But, I mean, they, they were just unstoppable for that 20-minute spell. And I'm glad that we've got out of there with a 4-0, to be fair. We don't need to be seeing that. We don't need to be seeing that. Um, hands on hips. Yeah, can't fault you for effort. Wow! Seriously. Let's just try and uh, rescue that a bit. I like how the sound effects are still going off for the, uh, <laughs> for, for the trophy presentation while we're in the dressing room. That's annoying. It wasn't, we weren't as bad, we were in the first half, we were as bad as the scoreline reflects in the first half. Second half, really good, really good. And we've got 700 grand for it as well. Um, okay, right, that is that for this one then. I mean, it was always going to be a defeat, it's a shame, but we, you know, I had to do it. I had to do it, we couldn't, we couldn't not. Um, yeah, Westphalia Reinen is who we're playing in the first round. Um, and obviously, that is down near Dortmund somewhere. Um, Sports, Sportplatz Papenloh. It's in Ham. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking that I will probably look to come back. Maybe down here, mid-September, Hanover and Köln. I think there could be two. Maybe winnable's a bit, bit optimistic, but they, they, I reckon they'll be evenly matched games. Um, so we'll get a few games played. We will come back for that. As always, smash a like on this one for me, guys. Let me know what you think of the transfers. Uh, subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Um, America's Adventure is back as well. I've, uh, I've done a few episodes of that recently. Whether they're all out at the minute, I'm not sure. But, yeah, go on and check that out. Get back up to date with that. And I'll see you very soon for um, some more lovely football in Germany. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.